Assalamu alaikum everyone we are back with the third game for today due to some technical issues uh, we could not cover the whole of the second match but we are back here live with you welcome to everyone who has joined us again and this is the first over of the third game and uh, it's been a bit of a shaky start by the night riders but a very confident one by the legends i've already taken out two boundaries from the first over so we have had uh, really good two previous games nerve wrecking and this is the third game for today and this will be interesting as well because we've we have uh, two teams competing uh, who have a lot of talented players night riders have had a very good campaign so far uh, legends entered the competition with a lot of expectations as they are the defending champions but uh, they have had to lose a few players in this campaign who have uh, obviously been picked by other teams like Hassan Nakwi who had a hat trick in the previous game another highlight of the day so night riders deciding to go uh, fast and spin and at the other end sake but is coming on to bowl night riders night riders have a very good bowling lineup with some very experienced spinners at their disposal the sake but starts with a tight first delivery forcing zain to go onto the back foot and push it away for a for a one so legends are 12 for none There is a tight delivery by Sake Butt, who is one of the players who were retained by Night Riders this season. Now has been worked away for for one by Shan Tahir towards deep point. another good delivery and swept by zan which is one of his go to shots is pretty strong uh, down the ground and uh, square of the wicket as well zanul abdeen that was a good arm ball by sakib but one of his stock deliveries beating shanta here all ends up he neither pushed front nor was he at his back foot so very tight over by sakib but more than compensating for the first over and ladies and gentlemen we've been joined by none other than mr ali hamdani the last starting the third over down the leg side will be called a wide assalam alaikum hamdani bhai uh, how have you found the proceedings of the day so far thank you mr bela I think both both matches which happened earlier today uh, were really close, very competitive. Um, I think it's a wonderful day for cricket. Uh, the sun is out, um, and we are hoping that this match as well would be a close one. 
So relatively better over so far from Talha. At times you just try extra hard which gets you distracted from the plan a little bit. So he's been worked down the leg side. Wayward line so far. He has had very good two games before this, but a bit of a shaky start by him today. Some very talented players in both sides, Ali Bhai, uh, your analysis. What a good shot. Uh, Yes, I think b both uh, the teams um, are very, very talented. However, um, legends have not been able to find their form in this tournament. They're the current reigning champions. Um, I think that, uh, legends do have some issues with their batting lineup. Uh, they don't bat deep down, um, which is very important for a tournament like Premier League. Well, the legends have gone on to a flyer, uh, without a doubt. You know, they're 32 for none after three overs. A hell of a start. It's, a very, it's, it's, it's very important that one of these two batsmen go on to make a 50 here. As I've mentioned, they don't bat deep down. Um, so it's, it's critical that their top three or four batsmen uh, perform today. And they're, they're on to a very, very good start, no doubt. Um, I think uh, a score of 165-170 is a par score today. Well, definitely, Imdani, but it has been in the first two games. But uh, I think uh, as the day has uh, gone on, I think uh, the sun factor has intensified, which might have changed the state of the wicket a little bit. You know, it, got, it might have actually gotten a bit flatter. Um, so let's see. Uh, I'm still not sure what a par score here would be because we have got a very strong betting lineup uh, with Knight Riders. 160 has been par so far uh, as as far as the day has been concerned so i think yes i mean the first uh, aim should be to get 160 to 170 but anything above that should you know make the game even more exciting i would say another good delivery by sakib uh, and, a, and a very desperate appeal a very desperate appeal i think he was lying down on the floor begging the umpire to give it out yes i think uh, those kind of decisions are always uh, a bit edgy, you know, because I, you, you never can actually make up your mind whether it stuck the ball outside off or did it strike the batsman in line. So, uh, Sake Butt, however, has been keeping things quiet from his end. Yeah, Sake Butt, I think, is a very good bowler. Uh, one of the few left arm spinners in the LMS circuit. Uh, he turns the ball. Balls the angle with the ball balls deliveries with an angle, so it's really hard to size him up for a lofted shot. But I think legends are doing the right thing here. Uh, they they understand that uh, a boundary here and there is coming, uh, especially from the other end. Um, so they're play, playing Sake very sensibly, nudging the ball for singles and twos. Yes, very clever batting so far because they are getting uh, runs of one end. So they are not trying anything silly against uh, an experienced campaigner like Sake. But I think there will be a change in bowling now. Captain Ozaradar has decided uh, to bring on his main bowler. Who's not only been taking wickets but uh, he can definitely dry up the runs as well. Aslam Qureshi aka Zubi. 
He's, he's probably been uh, the main weapon, if you say, for Knight Riders this season. And uh, what a pick, I would say, Ali Bhai. Absolutely. Uh, and he's justified his pick uh, in this tournament as well. Uh, but it will be interesting to see how the legends now tackle uh, Zubiz and obviously the very good player of spin bowling. And as I was mentioning, a great shot by Zan. Uh, so obviously he understands that he needs to bring Zubi under pressure from the first ball. And he's very successfully done that. Yes, Zan um, is probably one of the main uh, players to look out for uh, as far as Legends is concerned. That means he's someone who can go the extra mile and, and score three figures as well in this format of the game, which is... Uh, which is a rarity to see because I think not a, not a lot of batsmen can actually do that. So he's taking his chances and uh, rightly pointed out by Ali Bhai that he's putting Zubi under pressure right from the word go. I think he's gone across the line there and that's what Zubi wanted and Shan Tahir has been dismissed here. So Knight Riders have actually managed to get their first wicket here despite a very good start by Legends. Knight Riders are more than capable of pulling things back. So they've, they've taken the all-important first wicket. Sham Tahir uh, is the sort of a player who can pick his shots, you know, very good shot selection. A very technical player. So I think this is a massive wicket, Ali Bhai. Absolutely, and he was, he was looking really good. Um, comfortable and set on the pitch so uh, this is a big blow for the legends but having said this I think uh, Zan still uh, is the main pillar in the batting uh, he needs to now go on uh, and get a 50 um, and that will add a lot of depth to the batting uh, because then you have the comfort of such a batsman coming at the end of the innings again So another decent batsman has uh, stepped out to play, Abdullah Hashmi. I think he's, 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 made, he's made a huge leap uh, from where he started off. I think he started off in Division C uh, a year or so ago. But uh, he's had put in a lot of good performances. And now you can see him playing in the Premier League as well. A decent batsman, very strong uh, on the square both sides he's got, a, he's got a good cut shot and uh, he can work the ball away from his pads so it's 44 for one after five overs i think one or two more wickets and uh, the start that the legends have had would probably start looking a little bit bleak Captain Uzaid are uh, persisting with Sake Bhatt, who has had incredible two overs, giving away only five runs. Talha was a bit wavered today, although he has had very decent previous two games. Once again, Zen going across the line. In the meanwhile, uh, I would like to ask Ali Bhai, Ali Bhai, uh, how's uh, the Grizzly Bears campaign been uh, so far? Because you're, always, you're also the uh, captain of the infamous Grizzly Bears, formerly known as Serial Killers, which I have had the privilege of playing for as well. So Ali Bhai, any, any news for us? I think the biggest news of um, this season is that uh, Grizzly Bears won their first match yesterday. First match ever. Uh, it was a very comfortable win. Um, and, I, and I'm and i warning all the teams who are in our group that they, they need to now watch out uh, Grizzly Bears because we, we are definitely in form now. 
वी डू प्लान टू मेक अ फ्यू चेंजेस इन ग्रिजली बेयर्स इन आर अपकमिंग मैच तैमूर तशाम आर विकेट कीपर ऑबियसली हैज नॉट बीन परफॉर्मिंग फ्राम द पास्ट फोर फाइव ईयर्स एंड वी वी यू डिसाइड टू ड्रॉप हिम नाउ we also looking for young, some youngsters who can come and play for our team so anyone who's interested can send in their cvs and we will evaluate them accordingly yes um, i would certainly would like to agree with that thought because i think uh, cvs would be more uh, you know preferred uh, as compared to any videos in the net because i think uh, grizzly bear strictly goes by the book not only on the field but also off the field as well and yes uh, their main man uh, mr tamur atisham hasn't been in the best of touch uh, for the past ever since he started playing <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yes uh, ali imdani is definitely looking on to make some changes in the coming games so coming back to the game uh, the legends have raced to to their 50 their 53 for one in the 6th over so they they're moving forward swiftly with a run rate of about 9.14 and uh, working towards building a platform for their incoming batsmen they've got a few exciting players coming in faiz kamar you know one of the most renowned lms players in pakistan uh, easily the best fielder i would say on the circuit and then we've got uh, mr zuran masood who is uh, another of the trump cards i would say for legends you know he's uh, he's one of those few players who can not only bowl uh, spin but he's he's more he's a more than capable uh, seam bowler as well you know he's, he, we we saw him do that in australia a few months ago so mr zaidar uh, has decided to continue with zubi a bit of a mixed first over he did manage to get the all important wicket of sham tahir and there is zubi continuing and zain manages to place that in between two fielders on the leg side for four runs we'll move towards uh, ali bhai who's been joined by another guest who was with us earlier mr abbas raza khan and i'm glad that they've got their first win you know they've put themselves on the board finally ali bhai i think zubi needs to look at his field as well i i don't understand uh, the field positioning right now especially for zain uh, who sweeps the ball really well Anyway, so we have Abbas Azam Khan with us. Um, Abbas, your thoughts on your match today? Uh, finally, um, strikers seem to have cracked the code. Hamdani uh, bhai, thank you so much, Hamdani bhai. हाँ जी, it's been a good day for us. It was a fighting end to the game. Finally, हमने मैनेज किया कि जी अपने आठ जो हैं पक्के खिलाड़ी हैं और वी वन अलहमदिल्ला ग्लैडिएटर्स को थोड़ा सा उनको भी क्रेडिट दूंगा कि उन्होंने एंड में बिल्कुल ही स्कोर अपने प्रेशर अपनी तरफ ले गए थे जबकि उनको देश कुड हैव चीज डाउन डाउन द टोटल जी बस यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट जूबीस फील्डिंग द स्क्वायर लेग फील्डर इज रियली फाइन ही शुड बी अ बिट स्क्वायर आई थिंक स्पेशली विद जैन ही हैजंट प्लेड एनीथिंग टुवर्ड्स द ऑफसाइड और टुवर्ड्स द लॉन्ग ऑफ ऑन बाउंड्री इज प्लेड एवरीथिंग टुवर्ड्स the square leg in mid wicket region uh, and he is pretty good on that side so hamari bhi predictions kya hai वैसे premier league ki aapki uh, top 3 teams bataye jo round mein khatam ho gaye jo group stages ke baad honge um main predictions us waqt nahi de sakta ji because main aaj ka under 19 ka world cup follow kar raha hu maine premier league follow nahi ki hai um lekin um, I I I think that this tournament's format has been changed, so it will be interesting now to see uh, how the teams progress as the tournament is progressing. I think 
ٹیمز جلن کر رہی ہیں آپ کو اصل کلرز ٹیم کے اب نظر آنا شروع ہوئے ہیں ابھی تک جو کامبینیشنس تھیں وہ فائنل نہیں ہو رہی تھیں اب آئی تھنک وہ ہونا شروع ہو گئی ہیں میری انڈرسٹینڈنگ یہ ہے کہ اس اس ٹائم پہ کسی قسم کی پروڈکشن دینا بیکاز فارمیٹ اس طرح کا ہے کہ اینی ٹیم کین کوالیفائی ان دا ٹاپ فور ایون آفٹر لوزنگ سے فور اور فائیو میچز تو میں ایسی کوئی پروڈکشن دے دوں اور بعد میں آپ لوگ مجھے اس پہ ریل کریں تو میں یہ رسک نہیں لینا چاہتا nicely done by Hamdani bhai and yes I mean uh, talking about the under 19 and that is a big shot by Zan and he's hit it out of the park on the cow corner region and uh, Saki but uh, in his last over is being targeted now as well now uh, coming back to the conversation uh, Pakistan under 19 have ha- you know as far as I followed them but a fast bowlers on the pass for next match to have a big game against India coming up. So, uh, how do you see Pakistan doing against India? I think the team is very good for Pakistan, but historically, India is always tough to win. What we are hoping is that I think um, uh, by far this is the best team joint 19 ki pichle 6 7 8 saalon mein gayi hai world cup mein 10 saalon mein so by far uh, this is the best team so in, in se hopes bahut zyada hain and we are also hopeful ke india ka jo match i think fourth ko hai uh, wo jeete um, coming back to this game the legends are 69 70 70 for one 70 for one after eight overs um, score predictions kya dekh rahe hain aap bas kitna ek legends ke liye ek safe target Sir, considering uh, the batting line of... Uh, Thank you so much. So, what do you think about the score of your score? I think anything uh, close to 170 should be a good total here. Okay, you were giving the score of the score. Sir, I was not giving the score of the score. I was just giving the score of the score. You took my score of the score of the score. So, the prediction is that Hikmat Ullah Khan is really crucial. If Hikmat doesn't give a wicket, then they will end up making somewhere around 160 runs. If they give wickets to Hikmat, they are saying that they keep him out of his own. Because his line length is so consistent. It's really difficult to take runs off him. But what are you saying? What is a par score? Par score is 150. بال ابھی بھی تھوڑی لو رہ رہی ہے صبح کے دو میچز میں ہم نے دیکھا ہے کہ بال سٹینگ لو ایکسپیکٹڈ تھا کہ تھوڑی سی ایز ایز دا ڈے پروگریسز تو یہ باؤنس تھوڑا بہتر ہوگا لیکن آئی تھنک اس لیے بڑا مشکل ہے کراس بال بیٹ شاٹس کھیلنا یا کراس لائن مارنا بٹ آئی تھنک زین ہیز ڈن دیٹ ریلی ویل جیسا میں انیشلی کہہ رہا تھا کہ اس کی سویپ شاٹ بہت پکی ہے اور اس نے وہی اس کی بریڈ اینڈ بٹر شاٹ ہے اور اسی پہ اس نے زیادہ رنز لیے ہیں میرے خیال سے امدانی میں بالکل صحیح بات کی ہے جس وکٹ پہ بال نیچے رہ رہا ہوا تھا ایک سویپ مارنے والے بیٹس مین کے لیے تو بلکہ فائدہ مند ہوتی ہے وہ چیز کہ بال زیادہ باؤنس نہیں کر رہا تو ہی کین اوبیسلی گو فار ہز سویپ شاٹ اینڈ آئی تھنک دیٹس وٹ زین ہیز بین ڈوئنگ کیپٹلائزنگ آن دا آن دا کنڈیشنز دیئر اینڈ لیجنڈز آر ایٹی فار ون آفٹر نائن اوورس آئی تھنک دا دا وکٹ ہیز گون فلیٹر
one of the crucial all-rounders for Knight Riders. Forum runs in for the first delivery. A very good delivery, but down the leg side. Length-wise, it was good, but line-wise, uh, yes, I agree with him, Dhanibai. It was it was not very good. Well, a bad delivery, if you put it in simple simple terms. Akuram runs in again, and he bowls a slow delivery this time around, which has been worked fine by Abdullah Hashmi, and he will get four for it. As we can hear clearly, some voices coming in, trying to encourage the players. Well, we we noticed uh, Abbas Raza Khan, uh, you know, being being noisy today after quite a while on the field. You know, he was backing his boys up, try, trying to keep them on their toes, and uh, we hadn't seen that that a lot in this Premier League, Ali bhai. Sorry, I missed two questions. Could you come again? Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was very vocal today. Uh, and uh, we hadn't seen that. Uh, we hadn't seen that in the Premier League. Yes, I think I, uh, this is also a very important factor which was missing from the strikers team. Abbas obviously uh, has been leading strikers for the past three tournaments now. Um, his, his, his captaincy um, and his... Uh, Spirit on the field uh, is a really, really important factor uh, for the team performance. And I also felt that he was he was absent mentally in the past in the previous two games at least. But today we we saw Rabas Raza Khan we know um, on a cricket field. And I think I think uh, strikers as a team and Abbas as, as the captain now also realizes that um, they need to now start performing. They need to now start clicking together as a team. Um, before they go into the playoffs, uh, which obviously are the do and die. Uh, that uh, Zan, I think, has just just completed his 50 runs, and he's he's walking off, and uh, we see Fires Kamar now walking onto the field. And along with that, I think it's it's really interesting to see the crowd support with legends. Now, either that is because. Uh, <laughs> They want legends to win, or I, I, or, or is it that they, they, they want Dar's team to lose? I think uh, Mr. Rozad, Dar, uh, the infamous owner and captain of Knight Riders. Uh, okay, Zan walking out after completing his 50. Uh, that was also on just 30 deliveries. So yes, coming back to, to your question, um, I think Rozad Dar is is famous for uh, the right reasons or the wrong reasons. You we would probably leave that on you to decide but yes i mean he's always in the news he's always uh, someone who you know gets his friendly rivalries going uh, especially with uh, mr gufran Mir. and they're both very you know fast friends as well but also you know, you know pulling each other's legs very fast. yes uh, very fast <laughs> and yes uh, so i think that's probably one of the reasons why uh, people tend to to go after each other when it's the Knight Riders crowd outside or when it's the Invincibles crowd outside. So the Invincibles team is still there watching the game with keen interest. So Puram sticking uh, to the pads and he's been worked away elegantly by Faiz you know, off his toes for a quick two and I think both of these are really good runners between the wicket Faiz and Abdullah. So it's 94 for 10 uh, with, uh, for the loss of just one wicket. So uh, legends have everything going as far as their plans are concerned. You know, just according to what their plans would have been for the game so far. Abbas, uh, your take on the game so far? I think my take is that uh, the Knight Riders have bowled really badly, really poorly. I must say, other than Sake, but. There's no bowler has stood out 
and uh, Ikmat has just been hit for a wonderful cov extra cover drive. So not Ikmat's day, I think, because Ikmat is their key with the bat and bowl. Uh, he's a wicket taking uh, option, so I don't think uh, he had a proper night's sleep yesterday. He must be on his extracurricular activities. Anyway, how was your night? <laughs> no, I I had sound sleep at least. Um, obviously, as I was I was telling Bela that Grizzly um, Bears won their first match yesterday, first e first match ever in the history of LMS. So, Aj. We've just been informed that a total of 43 sixes have been hit today only. Um, that, that speaks volumes about the kind of pitch uh, that the groundsmen have prepared today. Um, I think it, uh, this pitch... Oh! And... Yavadar uh, sir! Hashmi has been bowled through the gate. By Hikmat, um, but I think this this pitch has something for both the bowlers and the batsmen. Well, definitely. I mean, uh, we saw in the first two games, uh, all of the you know accustomed batsmen they were just playing the ball uh, in the V, you know, um, on the long off or the long on region. They did not try to go across the line too much. So I think that uh, helped the batsmen to score more than the others. But the batsmen who have actually tried to go across the line, they've uh, struggled. And uh, on this dismissal, we saw that Abdullah was neither uh, front or back. You know, he was somewhere just hanging between in the middle. And uh, you cannot play Hikmatullah Khan that way. You you have to have a solid stance and come forward, you know, towards the pitch of the ball. And I think uh, that's what deceived him and uh, got to, you know, his dismissal at the end. So a much needed breakthrough for Knight Riders. Zuran Masood has uh, stepped onto the field. And uh, there has been a... Um, uh, uh, there will be a debut for Mr. Muzayyan Manzoor for uh, the Legends team. He played the last uh, season for Renegades. Another crucial inclusion and he's someone who can uh, play spin very well. He's a very technical player as we move forward describing his abilities, you know. And uh, and a good fielder, very tidy fielder, you know. Ball in the occasional uh, offies. So as the game progresses, uh, we see Knight Riders pulling things back a little bit, but Legends uh, seem to be in a very comfortable position still. Puram will resume the bowling, and Zurain has placed it for two, between two fielders on the offside. But adjusting the field as well. Good delivery by Khuram again. A slow delivery into the block hole. Slow Yorker type of a delivery. has been neatly placed off his hips by Faiz for a tidy single. A good return back to the keeper by Saqib Bhatt. So 105 for 2. And we're into the, into the 12th over.
So the legends players uh, choosing to rotate the strike and uh, take the innings deep towards the business end. Or they would obviously try to take their chances as we move forward. So again nicely placed by Fies off his hips. A good return in but Fies obviously as we know one of the quickest runners between the wickets that we have here in Lahore. So the legends are 108 for 2 after 12 overs. There will be a change in bowling. Hassan Khalid uh, has been brought into the attack. Aji? 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 Not a regular bowler. But on his day, can ball some decent off spin. I think this will be a very close contest, uh, Basbi, as the way things are uh, going. Yes, Milaji, uh, I think uh, Hikmat Sovers will be the decider in the first thing if they'll be able to restrict legends or not. And this over especially, it's a hit or miss over because Hassan Khalid is a part-time bowler. He's not uh, just filling in for some other bowler. As their main bowlers didn't bowl really well, Ray. So, I see the sport is all for legends today. Is it because Smali is such a nice guy? Or is it everyone wants Darsa to lose? And will Zubi be able to stop there? Oh, good stop. Good stop there by Zubi. <laughs> But uh, the boundaries have dried out. I think uh, the ploy that has been put by legend so far uh, is not bad as we speak. Uh, yes, I mean, uh, these two have been rotating a bit too much, but uh, they're more than capable of uh, clearing the ropes, both of them. But I think uh, Knight Riders have also managed to keep things a bit tight. I think he's gotten away with one there, uh, Hassan. Faiz is more than capable of uh, playing his shots against spinners. And a loose full toss to end the over by Hassan Khalid. And it was a decent over being bowled by him, but he concedes a maximum in, in the last delivery. So that pretty much helps the legends catch up on uh, the run rate again. They are up 118 for 2 after 13 overs. So pretty good run rate uh, still being kept up by the legends. Puram has been brought in again. And Puram is uh, someone who can break partnerships. A crucial bowler in the middle of the innings for the Knight Riders. He follows up the slow one uh, with a full delivery. And once again, a very comfortable tool by Zuran and Faiz. Replacing the ball quite nicely towards the, the longer parts uh, of the field. 
चार बॉलों पे चार रन थे रूबी के दो हैं रूबी के दो अभी छह ओवर पड़े उसके भी दो पड़े इधर कराने चाहिए थे क्या कह रहे हैं इधर कराने चाहिए थे स्लो हो जाते तो किधर तला कराएगा खुदम का पड़ा ओवर वंस अगेन द बॉल गोस टुवर्ड्स साकिब बट he tries to dive for the catch but in trying to do that he gives away a boundary i'll have to say this but that was uh, ordinary feeling of us boy yeah he should have tried to stop the ball because ran is in causing much damage and he just gave away a boundary should would have been just one run ran wouldn't uh, wouldn't have made it for the second so that's overall poor stuff by the night riders today they just trying to rotate the strike they not going for it they just capitalizing on the bad deliveries is run before that delivery was 8 of 8 8 of 7 and now he is 13 of 9 so yeah i think uh, they should have brought back the spinners rather than persisting with the medium paces as it's 14 overs and they've got two overs of uh, aslam qureshi che so i hear the legends captain saying that they want another 70 runs of the last six uh, with the bowling the night riders have and if they bowl well uh, i don't think they should let them go anything over 160 especially with hikmatullah's two overs and uh, aslam ahmed's two, uh, remaining two overs rightly said there was bhai uh, they've got a more than uh, useful bowling lineup which can restrict the legends but uh, yes i mean they should as far as the legends are concerned they should probably aim for uh, a 170 180ish type of a score as far as the platform that they've had and uh, the captain uh, choosing to continue with hasan khalid i think it will be very important uh, that he varies his pace at this stage of the game because uh, these two will look to capitalize on the loose deliveries and you know hit maximums because they're more than capable of doing it both of them and loose delivery from Hasan Khaled and exactly what Zuran was looking for he's given uh, Zuran the opportunity of having a full swing at that one there and then he's a decent more than decent striker of the cricket ball i think the way things are going uh, they're heading towards 160 170ish total Once again, Zuran has gone for it, and Hikmatullah Khan, Marwat has dropped that. A very poor uh, effort, as per his own standards are concerned. You know, more than a decent fielder, boss boy. Yeah, as far as Hikmatullah is concerned, he sets a high standard with the ball uh, in the field. Uh, Legends players are really notorious when it comes with their fielding and uh, uh, with their running, and that's what they're doing, calling for for the second when there was just one run, bluffing the fielder. So good delivery here by Hasan Khalid, but he's given off 20 runs of his 10 deliveries. So poor bowling. 
one bad delivery in every over and that's making making all the difference so uh, at the end of 15 it's 136 seems like a big finish i think for the Le- legends they've just lost two wickets and uh, there's one player who has made 50 runs Well, one thing is for certain that uh, Knight Riders will have to bat really well to win this game because the way things are going, uh, I think they should probably realize the fact that they will have to chase around 160 to 170 unless uh, we see two very good overs here by Knight Riders. And they they are the first team this season to have crossed 200 in the last game, and then they were followed by Gladiators in the same game. who scored 213 as well pretty intelligent bowling here by by zubi and again two runs a good two being stolen off uh, night riders by legends I think it's probably the stage where Fies will look to shift gears now, and uh, and as we see, he's gotten hold of one of the back foot. And he's hit it through cow corner for for a six. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Speaking of Doctor uh, Doctor Noor, uh, put in a decent performance today, Abbas. Boy, um, he's waking up at the right moment in the tournament for you. Yes, definitely, Doctor Noor. Bo- uh, batted really well today. That's what his actual batting capacity is. Fifties in every match should be what uh, Noor should be looking at. Fires has been dismissed in the meanwhile. Yeah, in the meanwhile, we have a wicket. Hik Matullah has redeemed himself by taking. the catch this this time lobbed to zuran's catch but he managed for his catch so maybe this was a make or break wicket for the night riders as uh, the said batsman is gone so th- the night riders should still be looking at somewhere around 165 70 to restrict uh, the legend so guys as the day moves on the weather started to get a bit cold as you might as you might uh, hear that our voices have changed <laughs> shivering a bit now <laughs> yes it's it's gotten chillier uh, in the morning for sure and uh, i think a lot of the guys will pull out their uh, pullovers That's one. That one was fired in by Zubi, one of his arm balls, but deviating from the line, signalled wide by the umpire. So legends uh, moving towards 145 for three. That has been cut by Muzi for a two. That was a loose delivery by Zubi. the legends gradually moving towards uh, the total that they would have planned at the beginning of the innings well you can probably add 10 to 15 runs to to what they would have planned as far as the wicket was behaving throughout the day but i think it's gotten flatter because we've had a fair bit of the sun today as well so that would have played uh, a role in uh, shaping up the wicket to what it is right now we have a bit 
of a pause for the azan. So another big shot by Zuran. Captain Ozadar was under it, but he drops it. It was a chance of Hikmatullah's bowling. But Captain Ozadar has dropped it. I mean another wicket there would have helped their cause of restricting legends. And Zuran manages to hit a boundary right off of the next delivery. So I think it's been very ordinary stuff by Knight Riders uh, today on the field. They've been leaking runs. There has been wavered bowling, some loose fielding. Uh, because I think when you're playing against legends, you probably need to consider the fact that they will uh, be very quick between the wickets. So you have to be on your toes. But unfortunately, the fielders weren't up to the mark. Another big shot being tried by Zurain. And I think Hikmat will attempt to go for it himself and he takes it neatly at the end. A very decent fielder, Hikmatullah Khan. So some crucial wickets being taken right now and uh, I think it will help Knight Riders in order to restrict legends to a score that they would, uh, would want to chase. I think considering the fact that they scored uh, over 200 runs in the last game, uh, they should uh, still be very confident. Because if, if you have the ability of scoring 200 runs uh, in an LMS game, then you should always be confident as far as your batsmen are concerned. And Hikmat keeping things tight there. So the legends are 153 for 4 after 17 overs. The Knight Riders desperately need uh, two tight overs to finish the innings. Not give away too many runs in the last three overs actually. This total is, is quickly headed towards a 170 mark. And Zubi keeping things tight. He has been a bit expensive as far as his bowling figures are concerned. I think uh, a touch expensive, I would say, because he's a very tight bowler usually. Bowls spells of around uh, 15 or 20 runs, you know. And uh, he's been in the mix of things as far as the wicket column is concerned. You know, he's been probably one of the top wicket takers this, this, this season. And Muzayan places that off his back foot. I think it should have, should not have been a two there. Zubi is a bit worked up there because obviously he doesn't like runs being given off his bowling. And rightly so. 
he's got a huge responsibility on his shoulders uh, not just with the ball but but with the bat as well the way the way he's been performing and Mozayan trying to get the better of of Zubi there and again the night riders have given a two Zayan is, is quite an experienced campaigner as far as the LMS is concerned. Has a good sweep shot, but he'll only get one for that. A good return by Sakib Bhatt. So that is the end of Zubi's spell and he's bowled out his four overs for 34 runs and he's taken two wickets important wickets of Shan Tahir and Faiz Kamar. Hikmat will continue from the other end and he'll be bowling his final over as well. I think we'll see uh, Khuram bowling the last over after this one. The legends have already reached 160. I think these two overs will be extremely crucial. And beautifully bowled by Hikmat again. And Bilal Afzal has missed on collecting that one. And that should have been a regulation run out. But he's missed out on that one. It was good fielding by Hikmat of his own bowling. Another good delivery by Hikmat. And Sakib Bhatt gives away two runs once again. Which has been the order of the day for Knight Riders so far. They've been sloppy to say the least. As a good delivery by Hikmat. Firing it down uh, towards Mozayan's pads. Zayan trying to play by the LMS rules, try to get, get himself out so that any of the batsmen who have already scored their 50s can come back in, which is obviously Zan in this case. A good shot by Uzair Afridi. And that has been dropped again by Zubi. So there might have been tactics behind that in order to keep the score uh, below 170 here. That's a good delivery, but a very well played shot by Muzayan, and he's gone for the double. <laughs> and this time, Lal Afzal gets his run out. So it's 167 for four after 19 overs. We've been joined uh, by Mr. Abdul Rahman Tahir, one of the renowned LMS names, also known as Big Bull. He wasn't playing for Gladiators today. I think he was, yes, he was. He was playing for Gladiators today, but uh, we haven't seen the best of him this season. One of the players who can change the matches on his own. We have uh, Mr. Muhammad Akmal watching as well, in another, another of the talented uh, batsmen in LMS who played for Knight Riders the last season. Mr. Harun Nasir Khan is watching as well. So Khuram will be bowling the final over and a loose delivery to start with. And Mr. Rosada takes a catch. Yeah. 
That was a good catch by Mr. Rosadar, the captain. He's not renowned for his fielding skills, but a more than decent effort on the boundary there. So we have Mr. Zainul Abidin walking onto the field once again, um, which would be probably an ideal thing for legends uh, as far as the game is concerned. Because we, we're in the final over and we've already reached the 170 mark. And Zan is more than capable uh, of taking the score past 180 or even close to 190 here because he's got a good four deliveries to face. And the way he was striking the ball uh, when he left after completing his 50, I think he looks to be in really good touch. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, please add your comments uh, or input. We would love to address that. Mr. Harun Nasir Khan uh, is asking us that uh, did he actually see Mr. Rosada taking a catch? Yes, we did, Harun. All of us along with you. And uh, we are as uh, mesmerized as you are watching that incident take place there. So uh, we'll have a hard week to get through as far as the WhatsApp groups are concerned. It's a good shot by Zan. He's placed it for two. They, they will definitely go for two at this stage because they would want Zan Lapidin to be on strike. I think Furam is putting in a decent over here. He's not letting uh, Zan clear the ropes. Legends are 173 for 6. And a good delivery. Again. And they will again go for 2. And this time they've gotten the run out. So a good breakthrough. For the Knight Riders. I think this breakthrough here will definitely restrict Legends uh, to under 180 unless Usman Ali the captain can pull off something extraordinary off the final ball or probably two balls but a great inning by Zan nevertheless I think uh, it's regulation stuff for him getting a 50 in every game that he plays Puram will be bowling to Mr. Osman Ali. Who's bowled cleverly there and not let him have a swing at it. I think Osman Ali will definitely look to nudge it or, or place it. I think he will. Uh, well, Talal Afzal is saying. Uh, He's, he's uh, looking forward to a home run by Usman Ali. And he's placed it. But he will be run out of the final delivery. So at the end, the Knight Riders have managed to restrict the legends for a mere 174. So finally, the Knight Riders have managed to restrict Legends uh, to 174, uh, which seemed as if they would go on to make anything around 180 or even 190 at one stage. But I think the Knight Riders have a more than capable uh, batting lineup who can uh, chase the runs. But then again, the Legends have uh, a very good bowling li bowling lineup as well. So. It will be a very good contest to see. And 
and uh, ladies and gentlemen don't go anywhere because this is uh, turning out to be one hell of a competition here it might turn out to be the best game of the day but uh, let's see how it goes stay tuned
Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the proceedings and uh, we will be starting off with uh, the second innings of the third game the legends have managed to put on a total of 174 after they allotted 20 overs and uh, night riders will be beginning theirs with captain Uzair Dar on strike Supported by Zubi on the other end. Uzair Afridi runs in, bowls the first delivery. And Mr. Uzair in trying to place that. He's gotten an inside edge, more of a French cut. He's gotten a boundary. He'll probably take it whatever, they way, whatever way they come at the moment. Because they need to have a solid start here. They want to be in contention of chase, chasing this target. Uzairdar runs in, Uzair Afridi runs in again, pulling to Uzairdar and uh, he bowls a wide this time around down the leg side. Uzair Afridi is a more than decent fast bowler. Good delivery there, kept low. Zan making a fumble. Behind the stumps, making a single, which brings Zubi onto the strike. Zer Afridi runs in again, and Zubi gets an inside edge towards the mid wicket region. It's a single there. So the night ride is a seven without loss. It was a good shot by Zaydar. It was a low full toss placed by him towards the covers. Getting a single there. I think the, the night riders will need to realize the fact that uh, they shouldn't look to run away with the game but try to build on if they want to achieve this target they'll have to string in few partnerships they do have big hitters at their disposal but uh, the legends have a decent bowling lineup and they won't let them run away with the game. Faiz Kamar will be coming on to bowl. Faiz Kamar adjusting his field there. Night ride is 11 for none after the first over. Faiz Kamar to Zaydar. Starts off with a good delivery. Zaydar taking a single towards the cover region. A good shot by Zubi. Would have been two, but Captain Uzairdar uh, believes in boundaries more than rotating the strike, as we all know. He has a wild swing at that, Mr. Uzairdar. And Faiz Kamar fails to collect that one. He could have gotten Uzairdar out there, who was struggling to reach the non striker's end. Team 
वाले बात भी तीन क्या करेंगे पांच मिस्टर हारून नसीर खान पुटिंग इन इज वैल्यूबल इनपुट देयर एज वेल मेंशनिंग दैट जुरेंज एंड फाइज इज स्पेल विल डिसाइड द आउटकम ऑफ द गेम वेल राइटली सो हारून इट विल बी वेरी क्रूशियल Zaidar versus Faiz Kamar is uh, usually a very good contest. As they like to face each other. And a decent first over from Faiz come to, comes to an end. Night right is a 16 for 2, 16 for none after two overs. Zair will be continuing from the other end. Zair Afridi. Zair Afridi will be bowling to Zair Dar. And places it nicely off his pads for a single. Steady progress here by Night Riders. They're not exactly running away with it as yet. Zaira Afridi running in again. Zupi trying to muscle that through the covers. But in return, just getting a single for it. Played it towards Faiz. Probably one of the safest fielders in in the LMS circuit here in Lahore. As a good yorker fired in by Uzair Afridi and well dug out by Uzair Dar. Captain Uzair Dar is uh, looking to be careful, and taking his time on the wicket. Another yorker fired in. Zubi was trying to dig it out, but also trying to place it towards the covers. It was a good delivery. Could have been curtains for Zubi, but uh, he's a seasoned campaigner. Changing his length this time around was Ayra Fridi. Played for a single. So the night riders are 20 for none after three. Legends keeping things tight here. Faiz Kamar. Uh, Will take up the ball again. Good delivery, first up, fired into the pads. I think probably stuck Zubi outside the line of our off stump. And hence no appeal there. Another good delivery by Faiz. Well placed by Zubi. But I do not think that he will get a response from the other end because uh, Zaid Dar is probably not the quickest between the wickets. Faiz Kamar runs in again. Goes a short delivery. Zaidar went for the right shot, but couldn't exactly time it. It's 22 for none in the fourth over. There's something seems to be going on with the ball. Faiz just getting it sorted out by the umpire. Faiz 
Kafar is bowling to Zubi. Uh, what a shot this time around. He's just gone through the covers. One bounce and four runs for Zubi. He's very strong through the covers. Faiz comes in again. Another good comeback that time round. Ball keeping a touch low as well. Probably would have been going down the leg, hence no appeal there. So 27 for none after four. We're into the third game. Uh, we've had some exciting matches over the course of the day. Really, two first two games. Raiders is probably the team uh, not playing today. So, probably they must be having a good rest. Ahmad Mela is watching us as well, one of the key players for Raiders. So guys, uh, keep the comments going. We would love to, to interact with you. That's a brilliant shot by Zubi. And he's got his first six today. Going after Shyam Chantahe right from the first delivery that he bowls at him. So immediately putting the bowler under pressure. Is this the moment where uh, the Knight Riders start running away with the game or is this the moment where the legends get their first breakthrough we'll uh, have to wait and see Shanta he runs in again another shot by Zubi might be a catch and yes anything towards Faiz Kamar and he doesn't let many slip away a few words being exchanged there as well but a very good take by Faiz as usual one of the safest fielders Zubi had one boundary from the over and he tried to Go after another one from Shan Tahir. Well, obviously, uh, he had Faiz ever ready at the long off boundary there. And it's a big factor uh, when you're playing an LMS game against the likes of Faiz. That you always keep in mind that you know you you trying to be careful not playing a short towards him because he's a, he's a very more than a decent fielder. Shaan Tai runs in again and bowls to the new batsman Hassan Khalid. He places it off his hips towards Muzayyan for a single. A well played shot by Zaid Dar, but only for a single. The Knight Riders are 35 for one into the fifth over. Change of pace there from Shan Tahir. Hassan Khalid tried to head it through the line. But missing that one. So 35 for one after five overs is Knight Riders. <laughs> so 
Duran will be coming on to bowl. I think in the absence of uh, Imad, Duran will definitely look to, to bowl spin today. He has to fill in uh, for the missing spinner. He's a more than decent spinner. He starts off with a wayward delivery down the leg side. And Knight Riders will get a much needed boundary there. Mr. Ozaid are asking for his cap there. <laughs> Abbas Bhai uh, showing his love. Abbas Bhai definitely we love you back the same way. Feelings are mutual. And uh, as far as Harun uh, is mentioning, Abbas Bhai has left. So a good shot by Zaidar. Not the best of calling, but still uh, managing to ask Hassan to go back to his crease and settle for a one there. Well, there was a double sound there, so definitely an inside edge. Knight Rider is a 41 for one into the sixth over. There's a good shot by Mr. Zadar. And good fielding by the captain, Usman Ali, at the boundary there. The legends are still keeping things tight here. Hassan Khalid is probably one of uh, the most solid and technical players the Knight Riders have. And, uh, he has been in good touch lately. Stringing in 50s uh, for most of the teams that he plays for. So uh, he will be crucial along with Captain Ozaidar here. They can actually manage to build a platform here for the incoming batsmen. We've got some big hitters coming in. Bilal Afzal and Hikmatullah Khan and then Khuram Shazad. And Hassan Khalid has played it up but Uzair Afridi just about not reaching it. I think he took a late start there and realized that he could take the catch but obviously yes as mentioned by Faiz it was a bit half-hearted there. That would have been a crucial wicket there. There's a good shot by Zaidar, a very loose delivery by Shaham Tahir. He's hit it for six over the captain Usman Ali there. Feeling a deep square leg. So words being exchanged between Zan and Faiz. Again, a relatively better delivery this time from Shan Tahir. Zaidar tried to muscle it through the cover region on his back foot, but only managing to get an inside edge for a single there.
Shant Tahir runs in again to Hassan Khalid. And he smashed it over Kyle Corner for six. <laughs> well, if you're going to give him room, then obviously he will take his chances. He's a very, very solid batsman. He was a regular feature for the Lahore School of Economics team for a very long period of time. Shantai running in again. And this time played towards long off, off his back foot. A little rather towards the cover region. Faiz has got uh, such a reach that he can even cover for uh, the cover region from fielding at long off. <laughs> so Knight Rider is getting a bit of a move on here. 58 for 1 after 7 overs. wait and see if the legends uh, will go on to miss Imad in this game one of their main spinners there was a mix up there but eventually Mr. Rosada deciding that he needs that one I think he should also be very careful because he's got Hassan Khaled at the other end who's uh, looking really good. So Zran comes into bowl once again. And Mr. Rozadar wanted to heave that one over the bowler's head but in turn uh, got a single towards long off. Zuran bowling to Hassan Khalid once again and he's cut it through the point region for four, actually through the covers for four. So Zoran coming in again and gently played for a single by Hassan Khalid who's playing very intelligently today. He tries to get a boundary and then obviously takes a single of the very next ball. Zardar once again plays it towards the cover region. He is limping towards the non-striker end. Knight Riders are 66 for 1 after 8 overs. We've got uh, Hamza Qasim watching us live from Durham. He played for Legends the last time around. A very talented uh, cricketer. More than a uh, capable dancer. We, we've been following his videos all over the social media. He was uh, the opening partner for Zan. Uh, last season another of the HSN and uh, LSC alumni one of the famous ones so we'll have the captain uh, getting hold of the ball now Mr. Osman Ali one of the nicest uh, lads that we have in LMS Lahore a gem of a person And he starts off with the boundary. Was Captain Ozadar uh, smashing it through the cover regions for four. One bounce. Almost went for a six there. Hello, Hamza. 
glad you're watching us. I hope all is well uh, up there in the UK. I'm thinking it would be really chilly up there in, in the north of UK. Usman Ali coming into bowl once again. And uh, Uzair Dar playing it for a one. He's called on for a runner now. He's been struggling uh, with his knees, obviously. He's been struggling with his uric acid lately and uh, we, we need to commend the fact that, you know, he's, he's someone who, who's so passionate for the game that he, he's been fighting through it. A good shot by Hassan Khalid towards long off for a, for a single. Shayan Anwar is here with us as well, uh, watching us live. He's a regular feature of Night Riders the last time round. But I think the composition of the squad is such this time around for the Night Riders that uh, a lot of the people, you know, have been finding it really difficult making their uh, place in the playing eight. We've got Anik Khwaja, who's, uh, who's not playing today, Shayan Anwar, both very talented all-rounders. Another good shot by Uzair Dar for a single. I think people can actually make out the fact that I'm you know shivering myself now. It's gotten that chilly here. It was relatively warm through the second game. Zulkarnan uh, is joining us as well. Couldn't play for Gladiators today. I think uh, he's probably very likely to make his debut on the next Sunday, most probably for Gladiators. Another good signing by Gladiators this time around. It was a very close appeal there. Well, I think probably going down the leg side there. Zadar went for a wild sweep. Not not the, the best sweeper of the cricket ball, Zadar. He usually is very good through the cover regions. There is a bit of a debate going on there. The legends are emphasizing on the fact that uh, the ball hit the stumps there. The umpires are discussing it. Hassan Khalid uh, is not leaving the crease, but he's been given out eventually. ball might have kissed the stumps on the way towards the keeper there. He's been given out there. Out there, out there. Hassan still discussing it with the umpire. So the umpire has given it out, so I think uh, there's no point debating it. bit of confusion there but all seems to be settled as Hassan Khalid is uh, stepping out of the field. He seemed good but uh, couldn't take the innings any further than 18 of 12. 
I think Hikmatullah Khan uh, has been sent in now. And the Knight Riders will definitely be looking to inject a bit of impetus into the game. Because they still need about 100 runs from 53 deliveries. So they definitely need uh, a bit of a move on here. I think uh, the captain Zaydar has decided to send Hikmat in. And rightly so, I feel. Uh, the spinners bowling. And uh, Hikmat definitely feels more confident when it's spinners bowling. Good first delivery by Zoran and uh, Hikmat defended it solidly off the back foot and he's gone, he is gone on the next delivery, that was fired in by Zoran, Hikmat just went after it and he cannot believe that he's been dis dismissed off the second delivery. I think that will be a very crucial dismissal as far as the game is concerned because uh, he has been getting crucial runs for JL, not only JLB but Knight Riders as well. Will that be a game changer there? We'll have to wait and watch. A very crucial dismissal nevertheless. An off day for uh, Mr. Hikmatullah Khan Marwat. A rare uh, failure for Hikmat. But I think that was ordinary cricket to say the least because he shouldn't have gone for. Uh, the second delivery that you're facing, you know. Um, let's see how things go on from here. Mr. Bilal Lovzal uh, has walked on to the crease. We've got more viewers joining us. Uh, Zakriya Fawad is watching us live, and Mr. Umar Sahi as well. One of the famous uh, HSN alumni. My fellow colleague at work. Haroon and Abbas are busy on the comment section discussing uh, Hikmat's arrival and departure, which was relatively quick. Muzi has come into ball and he's been dismissed for six by Mr. Ozaidar. I think Ozaidar is still out there fighting. I think his uh, runs here will be vital for the cause as far as uh, the Knight Riders chase is concerned. And there is another loose delivery and well fielded on the boundary by Osman Ali there. Saves two runs for his team there. Knight Riders are 82 for the loss of three wickets and we are into the 11th over. Oh, has another good shot by Ozair. He might get caught on the boundary, and yes, he is. That was a rather a top edge there. Could have sailed over the boundary, but uh, very unfortunate for him. He has been dismissed there. So the wicket's coming in thick and fast now. Still a bulk of the runs need to be scored and uh, 
we do not know where they will come from from here onwards I think Khuram uh, will be walking out to bat even though uh, all of the eight batsmen uh, that Knight Riders have can clear the boundary but uh, I would probably say Khuram is probably the last uh, of the recognized batsmen who can actually get Knight Riders over the line still. Because uh, if any of these two get out now from here, then uh, it will be really tough for Knight Riders. Because the batsmen to follow after this uh, are more than capable of clearing the ropes but uh, in a pressure game like this where you have you know still 90 runs to score uh, it will get very difficult Hamza <laughs> Kasim rightly pointing out that uh, Shayan Anwar's cameo is more than required here but uh, Yes, we still have uh, players in Knight Riders, both of these two, who are more than capable of doing it, if they get going. Was that a chance there? Might have been a snack, faint edge there, but Zain failed to collect it. Well, Lozair is uh, nodding his head that it wasn't. So Zoran will continue. He's already bowled, bowled quite nicely, you know, three overs, 16 for two, and he will bowl in his final over. Has been neatly tucked away for one by Khuram off his back foot. Faiz is throwing in uh, the Sarki comments. Legends keeping things very tight. Zoran bowling in to Kuram. Places it for a single. Once again, Zoran bowls and has been played towards the covers by Bilal Afzal. It will only be a one. So it's played back at the bowler by Khuram, nicely fielded by Zoran, using his foot, which cannot always be the most ideal thing to do being a bowler because it can lead to a serious injury at times so Muzayan will continue to Bilal Afzal as a loopy delivery has been played for four a good shot Lal Afzal is still there. Khuram Shahzad is still there. Will we see a fight pack from Knight Riders? A very loose delivery from Muzayyan. Muzayyan is a decent off spinner, but uh, he can go for plenty on a few days. Gets a bit wavered at times. A good comeback there from Muzi.
a very short delivery and Bilal Afzal missing out on that one. He could have smashed that on any other day but considering the situation of the game right now um, a bit rusty I would say. And that was fired in by Mozi. And Khuram decided that he wanted to go across the line there. And he has been dismissed. So I think uh, the game looks fairly one sided now. So Sasaki Butt has uh, stepped into bat. Things looking pretty one sided for now. Zayan balls in. It's a dipping full toss. Sake but has played it towards the deep mid wicket region for a two. Mitra still need uh, a massive 80 runs of just 35 balls now. A required run rate of 11.43. Usman Ali will carry on with his spell which he left uh, after the first over. A new spell by him. He starts with a neat first delivery. Always a tricky line uh, to play as a batsman, back of a back of a length. Comes in again and has been played by Bilal Afzal towards Faiz. He fields it neatly and throws it back to the bowler. Usman Ali will be bowling to Sakib but a loopy delivery and that been swept for a boundary. A job nearly well done by Muzi at the boundary there. I think the Knight Riders will need uh, more than just a one boundary of every over. Because the run rate is creeping up. A quiet run rate that is. Good delivery to follow it up by Osman Ali. Just fired it at the stumps that time. And Osman Ali keeping it tight. I think there will be a change in bowling now as uh, Bilal Afzal seems to be asking for his helmet. I think it will be Faiz Kamar. Uh, they still need uh, 74 runs of the, of the final six overs. I think Knight Riders have been very clinical uh, with their bowling throughout the tournament but they were uh, below par today and uh, the legends capitalizing on that putting away any loose deliveries that were being bowled and they, they scored a massive 174 on this track Fai is coming into bowl to Bilal Afzal Starts off with a with a slow one. Well, I think he got the pad there. Wasn't wide. So 
so got away with that one twice second delivery and that been that's been played down the ground for a one and stayed in the air for a bit we've been joined by uh, mr asan loan one of the renowned names in uh, in cricket here in lahore is watching us live another single down the ground and that's been smashed over the cow corner that has gone over the boundary for a six by bilal afzal so will we see a comeback here a bit of a comeback so still seems like a mammoth target batsman to come in uh, is talha he can hit a few as well but uh, considering the situation of the game uh, don't know how significant that will be the 66 required of the last 5 bilal has lofted that towards the cover regions zuran fielding it nicely it will be a comfortable two in the end smartly running in again and that's been uh, gently played towards the cover region for a one Manali runs in again. Has been played nicely towards the long off region by Mr. Sakit Bhatt. A bit of a French cut there by Bilal Afzal. Small, keeping things very quiet at the business end of the game. Not bowling any loose stuff. As a good shot by Sakib, but placed it for a four. Much needed boundary for the Night Riders. We still need. 57 of the last four Afridi will be coming into ball. Is there Afridi coming into ball to Bilal Afzal? He's timed it quite nicely towards the cover region, and that is a bit of a sloppy feeling there. Allah Hashmi not being able to cut that. So he was using his foot there. Could have saved. Two to three runs for his team there, but so there are three runs in again, and he's gotten Bilal Afzal this time around. He's bowled him on a slow delivery. Problem 
so Bilal Afzal has been dismissed and it will be Talha who is walking into bat as far as the instructions are being thrown in um, my riders will be looking to save the bonus here A lot of words being exchanged outside of the boundary. Has been neatly played towards the cover region by Talha for a single. So 52 of 17 required and uh, about 17 more required to save the bonus point for, not for the Knight Riders. As a decent Yorker by Zaira Freedy, fired in, nearly got another wicket for his team there, and narrowly missing the off stump. And Sake but tries to have a wild swing at that one. Zaira Freedy sticking to his line. He's been more than decent up till now. He's given away only 19 of his 3. And taking the all important wicket. Thanks, Bilal Afzal. Thanks, Mohan, and he will be bowling to Talha. So, uh, Knight Riders are seven down now and it will be the final wicket to be taken by Legends. Sake Butt will be the final wicket. As a good shot by Sake Butt. We still need a 48 of the 13 um, balls. And I think 13 more required to save the bonus point. As a good shot once again. About two runs being taken by Sake Bhatt there. Just a matter of time now for the, for the legends to wrap up this game. It's been a clinical performance by them, both with bat and ball. That was a good shot by Sake Bhatt. Laced it toward the cover region and he's managed to take his two there as well. Good running. He being the last man uh, can only run two between the wickets. So Fais will be bowling uh, the penultimate over for the legends. Nick towards the third man region and Osman but Sakib but rather takes his two there. We still need seven runs to save the bonus there. Cleverly bowled by Fais. <laughs> and 
Abdullah Hashmi deciding not to go for the catch there. It would have been the final wicket. A good shot by Sakib, but that will not be any runs as he has to run two. Running in again, fires in a Yorker. Should be a catch, and yes, that is the final wicket. So, ladies and gentlemen, so legends have finally won the last game of the day, and it has been a massive day as far as runs that have been scored is concerned. There has been a total of 33 sixes that were hit and 55 fours. There were 550 scored. So it has been a day full of excitement and boundaries, regardless of the fact that the first two games were a bit sluggish as far as uh, the pitch was concerned. Hafiz Arslan, Zainal Abedin, and Murad Shahid were the players who hit three sixes each. And uh, Mr. Adil Shah hit six fours. So, thank you so much for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Please do join us for the next day of the Premier League, which, which will be on the next Sunday. I hope you had lots of fun. Please stay tuned for the figures coming in later.